Now, let's talk about some, um, let's talk about installing Git. So what we need to do is go to, so Git is basically, first of all, Git is a basically um, source control. What that means is um, it's software that allows you to um, basically archive the versions of your software. So basically, if you're working on it and then you mess up, you can roll it back to the last working version, you know? Um, and you can also, um, in a professional environment, you will have um, a development environment, a staging environment, and a production environment. <clears throat> and you will create your own version of the app. And at some point when you do a feature, you will do what they call a pull request, which means someone need another developer can look at my code and test it. And if it is good and doesn't introduce a bug, it will be merged into what is in production and production will be pushed into the app store or made live. But that's a whole nother thing. Right now, you just have to get the understanding of Git and how, and, and how it works with GitHub, the basics. If you can't do this, you can't work in the real world. Again, it takes more than just Swift and Xcode. Okay, so let's talk, let's find um, Git um, dash S-E-M. There, we are at the, um, the Git S-E-M website, Git S-E-M.com. We'll go to downloads and we're gonna go ahead and download. <clears throat> now what we need to do is if we want to install Git, there are multiple ways to install it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to advise people to install Homebrew first. So this, is, this will be the first time I've done it. I usually use Jim. So let me explain this. Homebrew and Jim are, um, what they are used for is they're used for installing third-party frameworks for your development environment. That's what they're used for. You know, now if you use other um, OSs like Linux, um, they have, they already have um, installers for third party frameworks. But, um, you know, we, with Mac OS, you have to install your own um, installers and, these are just third-party framework management systems. <clears throat> Homebrew is considered one of the um, one of the most common ones, and uh, Jim is there in the instructions. If you want to install Git, but let's go ahead. Let's do Homebrew. So I'm going to say, um, see home. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now we have Homebrew, right? Now Homebrew is again is a package ma manager. I'm going to copy this line here. I'm going to go to my terminal. Right? So um where's my terminal at? I'm going to um see here um so i went back to my root directory print working directory so I, excuse me hold on so now um what i'm going to do is paste in what i got from homebrew return checking access Okay, the following new directory will be created. Press return, enter to continue or any other keys to abort. 
<clears throat> so um is doing the work right now. Again, what I'm doing is I'm installing a homebrew. And that's all you have to do. Go to the main. Now, download command line tools for Xcode. Okay. Um, download command line tools for Xcode. What? So um, I'm going to have, I'm going to pause real quick. Give me a second. All right, so um, I just paused it a little bit because it was taking so long and I just didn't really want, um, I just really didn't want uh, just to hold you guys up. You know something? I'm going to pause it again. This is done. Okay. Okay, so now everything is finished downloading. Um, that includes the um, installing of the Xcode command line tools for Xcode. All that's finished downloading. And this is all the extra stuff, right? Now that's done. Now I need to install Git. Homebrew is installed. I need to install Git. So to install Git, I need to say, oh, give me a moment. Uh, all right. Oh, sorry, I had to move this stuff out the way. So I need to say, bro, install Git. You know, and other, or, yeah, bro, install Git because we're using Homebrew. So now we gotta wait for all of the parts of home of, of Git to be installed onto your computer. Installing the dependencies for Git. Now bash completion has been installed. TLC GUI subversion. Okay, and everything is done. So now that that is done, we have installed, we have successfully installed Git on our machine. So next, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how to use Git, add something to your Git repo, and you're going to create local repository, and we're going to go teach you how to um, start tracking files. So um, on to the next.